one day these two numbers 248 and 492 were playing with each other suddenly it occurred to them that who is our highest common factor so they wanted to find out their highest common factor that is they wanted to find out the highest common factor of 248 and 492 so they started finding out their prime factors they wanted to find out their hcf using the prime factorization method but by the time they could find out their prime factors they were really very tired because they had lots of prime factors so they wanted to find out some other way to calculate their hcf 248 asked 492 how to do this how can we do this and suddenly an idea came to 492 he said you need to divide me so he told 248 because you are a smaller number you divide me and we will find a way to find our hcf so let us see how these two numbers found their hcf by dividing so 248 needs to divide 492 This is the first step. So step one of this method is divide the bigger number by the smaller number. So over here, the bigger number is four hundred ninety-two, and the smaller number is two hundred forty-eight. So I need to divide four hundred ninety-two by two hundred forty-eight. So this is the divisor, and this is the dividend. Now. Two forty-eight goes into four ninety-two one times. So if you check, you will see that two forty-eight goes into four ninety-two one time. So one is the quotient, and I write two forty-eight here, and I need to subtract this. So I get four, four, two, two hundred forty-four as the remainder. So this is what I get: one as the quotient and two hundred forty-four as the remainder. Now, how do I find the HCF from here? So I have divided the bigger number from the smaller number, got one as the quotient and two hundred forty-four as the remainder. So now, what is the HCF? Well, for finding HCF, we need to divide further. What do we need to divide? So look at this remainder. Now you need to take this remainder as the divisor, and what will be the dividend? This number, the previous divisor, will be the dividend, or the number which is divided. So now two forty eight will be divided by the remainder. So the previous divisor. becomes the dividend and remainder becomes the divisor this is step 2 what is step 2 divide the divisor in step 1 which is 248 so i divide 248 by the remainder of step 1 which is the remainder of step 1 244 so i divide 248 by 244 so very carefully understand this step so firstly the quotient we don't have to do anything with the quotient the dividend previous dividend we don't have to do anything with that the remainder will now become the divisor and what will be the dividend or what will be divided the divisor of the previous step that is 248 will now be divided by the remainder so 244 into 1 is 244 and i subtract it to get the remainder 4 so this is what we have so the remainder is 4 now what do we do well 
we repeat it so now this is our remainder now this remainder will once again become what it will once again become the divisor so this remainder will become the divisor and what will be the dividend previous divisor what is previous divisor 244 so 244 will become the dividend or the number which is divided and what is it divided by it is divided by the remainder so continue dividing each steps divisor by the remainder obtained till no remainder is left so in each step the remainder which is left it divides the divisor not the dividend because dividend has already been divided so now this remainder will divide the divisor so 4 will now divide 2 44 4 will now divide 244 so now 4 first i take one digit that is 2 4 doesn't go into 2 so i take 24 so 4 into 6 is 24 so if i subtract this 24 i get a 0 but i need to bring this 4 down and 4 goes into 4 one time so this is a 4 and i subtracted to get zero so this is what i have so 4 divides 244 4 into 61 is 244 61 is the quotient and what is the remainder there is no remainder so now what do we do remember we divide in each step we take the remainder as a divisor which is zero in this case and we divide the divisor of previous step but is it possible to divide by zero no we cannot divide a number by zero so this means that i need to stop here because the remainder is zero and in every step i need to divide by the remainder the remainder is zero so i need to stop here so the divisor of the last step is the hcf so if you go on by this method the divisor of the last step which is 4 what is my last step this this is my last division so i have done so many divisions but which is my last division this one which is my last divisor 4 the divisor of the last step is my hcf so over here the divisor of the last step is 4 so 4 is the hcf hcf of what hcf of these two numbers so the two numbers with which we started so 4 is the hcf of 492 and 248 so this method of finding the hcf is called the long division method because you need to divide one number by the other number why is this method useful this method is very useful for large numbers so when you want to find the hcf of large numbers if you try to prime factorize them you will get a lot of prime factors and it will be very difficult for you but if you go on by this method then you can find the hcf of large numbers very easily so how do we exactly do it first i divide the bigger number by the smaller number once i divide it i don't do anything with the quotient i take the remainder in every step remainder becomes the divisor so see this remainder is now divisor it is dividing what is it dividing the divisor of the previous step so 248 and once again i divide get a remainder which now becomes the divisor and this previous divisor becomes the dividend and i stop when i get a zero at the end that is when i get zero as the remainder and what is the hcf the hcf is the divisor of the last step so the last division divisor is the 
HCF. So in every step, what is happening? Remainder becomes divisor. So divisor of this step is the remainder of previous step and divisor becomes the dividend or the number which is divise, divided. So divisor is what divides and dividend is what is divided. So in every step remainder changes to divisor, divisor changes to dividend. Keep on dividing till you get a remainder 0. So cross check using prime factorization that you actually get the right answer if you perform all the steps of this division correctly. So this method is very useful for finding the HCF of large numbers. Practice finding the HCF using this method and then cross check using the prime factorization method. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like Playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.